Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. I am using an audio recorder this time around. Wanted to discuss something that I felt last night before I went to bed. Locate your heart chakra and this will make more sense. So when I was looking in the mirror at my face just for like a brief second, you know, and all of a sudden I felt this power in my heart chakra. I instantly knew what it meant and then when I fell asleep I had dreamt of this same power and I knew what it meant. The power came from my guardian angel to help me my holy guardian angel's name is Ezekiel. That name randomly appealed into my head without any sort of knowing the name before. Indication, sorry, couldn't think of the word. There was no indication of this name prior when it entered my head at random. It's not random. The universe has said, hey, here you go. And there are other people saying the same things. They know things without knowing previously. So it has happened. It is real. And... I am still working on that project. I updated my uh, VR chat avatar girl. I added a color correction to boost her brightness because I noticed it was too dark to see her clothing. So I, I fixed that. I added a sharpness because when I recorded that video, when it exported, for some reason, it made the video very blurry. But at that time, I was messing with OBS settings to figure out how to record VR chat with OBS. And they do not play nice together uh, because I was new to the downscale thingy and other settings in OBS to compensate for... You're doing two things at once, not enough process in power, in other words, but, yeah. And this has been a podcast-type video today, um, yeah. So, until we meet again, I do apologize for any, uh, speech errors or loudness. I am using a mic very close to my mouth. <laughs> so that's fun. Until we meet again, my light worker friends. One thing I forgot to mention was how am I getting more views now? Since th the title to Project Extension and somehow that is working. So I am going to stick with that. Sir, I use all the tags I can possibly think of. Some of them came from Instagram, how many people are using it. And I imported that into my YouTube tags. But, no, none of those tags are working until I said Project 
Xensen. And then that started to get hits. So I will continue to name everything Project Xensen dot dot dot. Sometimes I can't think of a title, so yeah, that will that will work. Until we meet again. One thing I forgot to mention was... How am I getting more views now? Since the title to Project Extension and somehow that is working, So I am going to stick with that. Sir, so I use all the tags I can possibly think of. Some of them came from Instagram, how many people are using it. And I imported that into my YouTube tags. But no, none of those tags are working until I said Project Extension. And then that started to get hits. So I will continue to name everything Project Extension dot dot dot. Sometimes I can't think of a title, so yeah, that will that will work. Until we meet again. Welcome back to another video, my fellow likes people. Going with a podcast feel because my voice made her banana decides to literally screw up. Every time I would speak into my microphone, I would hear it coming out of my speakers. And I don't know how to correct that, so I don't want to waste any more time because I really wanted to record something. This was supposed to be an arc. However, when I tried that the first time, no drivers were found. I had to reinstall my microphone driver. And apparently, I have to also reinstall Realtek audio drivers because that mysteriously is missing. Probably because I was running Cort uh, Razor Cortex monkeyed with that, and probably that is what messed up. Because. Um, if you don't know what Razor Cortex is, look it up, because I'm not going to be <laughs> ranting about that, so... Um, not bad for an intro, under two minutes. Good. I wanted to go back and redo my uh, the the video I did previously, which was a look back. Except I read part two of two and not part one of two. So with that being said, this is a run up of <laughs> off the top of my head. And go. Looking back throughout the year, what has changed this time around? What is new? What is different? What changed? What happened this year? Well, starting off, I was a Flamemite going into from 2018 to 2019. Then, 
I changed. So, from Philema to what I am currently. And now I'll see myself as a witch of light, light worker, star seed, still a lyran, dragon, phoenix, pegasus, siren, why not? Element, well, that is actual fire. But apparently when I read about the elements and to figure out which one matches me, Probably all four. L, water, earth, and fire. And then we have spirit, the fifth element. So we have that. Um, I did many, many uh, video vlogging. Vlogging, if you will. Got into the feel of that. Got through the camera shy, being on video, being on microphone, got rid of that shyness, so I may still have that from time to time. However, I think for the most part I am over that, and, and now I am working towards getting over that shyness through playing video games, because that Two is also another hobby of mine, besides the art and the main focus, spirit. Do I call myself a sp spirit blogger? Yes. Do I call myself a... What's the other term? Awakening blogger. Enlightenment blogger. Yes and yes. How do you categorize that? I am now going to go with enlightenment to others by reminding them of the things they have forgotten about. Because I too suddenly found myself waking up, remembering, realigning myself with my soul, and Working through that, leveling up, leveling up the game, as this world is what we make of it, therefore the game, the life is but a game, game of life. Remember that board game? Meaning, you create your own reality, therefore you hold all the power in your hand, what do you do with that is on you, no one else, just yourself, only yourself. And that is the core of this channel, despite how YouTube is treating their fellow creators. I've been seeing a lot of hate on YouTube towards them. Yeah, I see a lot of people jumping ship. And it has me worried, concerned, because I I have shelled uh about how 3D people are no good to you because they are toxic. You need to leave that environment to raise yourself up. And technically can offend people because most people will not understand and they will not be able to see the bigger picture of what I discuss, what I value. My opinions will offend and get people triggered. And by the looks of it, YouTube doesn't like that. So you have to be weary, be concerned, be on the lookout for to the future because chances are YouTube will cut you off because I saw a a channel they are music 
channel and YouTube said they were reusing content and I do not know if they really are or not and YouTube said hey you have to put yourself into the videos boys they tried to get back into the algorithm uh, excuse me the person said YouTube kicked them out and demonetized their channel two channels apparently YouTube said hey put your put yourself in the video face or voice people were commenting that so they did and YouTube was like nope not gonna happen so they're like okay time to reboot and they were a music channel and I've created my own music, put it on Bandlab, uh, actually created something from with their uh, stuff and created a, a track for, with Bandlab, uh, beats, music, tracks, uh, loops, I uh, can't think of the, uh, the theme, the proper name uh, right now, but if this comes to shove, you have to cut YouTube because they say Oh, I'm gonna demonetize you because I'm an AI bot who was programmed incorrectly and now is banning everyone. And this doesn't go with just music channels, it has happened to an educational channel. Actually, they, this was before the, the rush of demonetization. What happened was, okay, so I am going to create an educational cartoon to make money off of it if I could. They were until that wagon fell off and they never made any money off of the content. And it was kid safe. And YouTube was like, nope, I'm gonna not make you any money. Another uh, channel, it was, oh, everyone was raving about this. Uh, Catch a show for for kids, an art show for kids got demonetized, and everyone was like, hey, YouTube, fix this, and YouTube is like, nope, not gonna fix it. So you have to wonder, the demons are running the show, they are deleting freedom of speech. Even though you follow their crazy rules, because they are trying to make it more kid safe now. However, you can't really enforce this. There was YouTube Kids. What happened to that? Oh, never mind. I'm going to make it on actual YouTube and make everyone say, hey, is this for kids or not? Even if you do say not for kids, demonetized. <coughs> Pardon me, I was not expecting to get a coffin fit right now. But yeah, YouTube demonetized them, even though they said Bell Channel, not for kids, demonetized anyways. They appealed it, got nothing for it. And I'm sitting here under a thousand subscribers. What happens when I reach one thousand or more? Will YouTube have my head? Because right now, I'm safe only because I am tiny. I am invisible to the bot that it, YouTube is. For the algorithm, the monetization. For one, I can't even be monetized, monetized until I reach 1,000 subscribers and so many watts minutes which is like 800 watts minutes or something. So I have a long ways to go. But, the thing is, will YouTube kick me before then? So far, no. What about after? 
Probably, because everyone is getting hit. Makes you wonder. But that's the, the thing also for 2019. It sucked for content creators on YouTube because of this ban hammer over our heads. So that's part, part two of 2019. Part three is looking towards the future. So, I call myself a witch now, light witch, witch of light, recently, so that's a, a change between be, before I was the Lamanite, now I am a witch of light. Before the witch, I was just a regular light worker. I was not calling myself a witch at that time after I left the Lima. So, 2018, the Lima. Going into 2019, still the Lima. Couple months later, forget when, about, like three months later or something. Oh, I, I wrote this down. This is on Instagram. And I did sell, sell that on YouTube previously, so the data is there. Going into, well, days ago, I called myself a witch, so 12, 16, or something, 12, 16, 19. I can now call myself a witch. Actually, I would just say 12, 12, 19. Yeah, the last full moon on 12, 12, 12. Angel numbers. Witch, I think this means basically 11, 11, 11, but that's not the point here. Uh, Okay, that was like a this that point should have been on point one, but yeah. Okay, point three. Moving into the future, what do I have planned for twenty twenty? Out of order. Um, let's see. More music, more art. Try to get this arc car cartoon the cinema going. I am almost done with that. I was just had to take a long break to do a Christmas event in my other game, but now I'm I'm almost done with this arc build at last. So we have that going on, and then we have create a book of shadows. But instead of spells, it will be light worker blog posts uh, that I have personally written. So it's like a scrapbook of all my light worker stuff. So that's in the works. Um, continue to do what I do. Get more comfortable in video games as I talk. Uh, maybe try to <laughs> try to stream on Twitch, I guess. I don't know. They say that's also gonna burn I don't know. Everyone's jumping the chip, apparently. Uh, put up more music on Bandlab. Probably jump a ship on YouTube and go somewhere else. Uh, probably Daily Motion. I don't know. Right now. For now, the channel will be here until YouTube decides to kick me for whatever reason. Because someone said, oh, I got three strikes all at once, lost my channel, lost everything, could not get it back. Did I do something wrong? I have no flippin' idea because the AI bot is screwed in the head. So yeah, someone needs to fix that AI bot program and fix it. Oh, not gonna happen. So, yeah, everyone is jumping up on YouTube, so it makes me wonder, well, I'm gonna be. Probably Daily Motion. 
Instagram is also a great place. However, you can only upload one minute long video only. Someone said, why don't you do Patreon uh, to someone else? It's like, uh, they don't allow big file sizes or long videos. So that's out of the question because some of my videos are over half an hour. It just depends on what's going on. Mm, what else? I, I do have an idea, but I don't know if it will actually happen or not. More Photoshop ideas uh, with a green screen. An actual green screen. Don't know if I will be able to do that. I will have to wait and see. Meaning, acquire background paper and then have a, um, instead of a normal background, it would be that paper with a light on it. I've seen other YouTubers do this. I forget what is called the effect. It is to focus on the, the person and not so much the background. Or create a background with crazy looking lights. I don't know what I will have in mind. If I do a green screen and have the ability to do that, then I can do all sorts of things. So there's that. Don't know if I will be able to do that or not. I will let you know. And as usual, more light worker stuff throughout the video. Keeping it real. Uh, I needed to read more of my blog posts instead of just organic because I feel the organic does not do my channel justice. What in the world do I mean? Enough with the ranting and raving about how 3D people cut you down. Out with that and with more might. Oh. You mean, cut the shadow work out and leave only the light. On that note, I'd rather not. I'd rather keep it the same. Be more real. Because who else is doing this? I repeat, who else shows their shadow work to the world? I feel like I am the only one who is more real than... You know, with the fans. I'm on the same level as you. I am not higher. I am not lower. Same page. You know? I think that's everything for this video. Um, until I probably redo it. <laughs> For a third time, maybe, by accidentally reading that blog post. <laughs> Until we meet again.